filming. Greetings nerds, noise here. Actually, I don't go by noise. That's my PSN name. What do you go by? Noise. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a bit out of it today. Had a long day. Um, visiting me is baby Nick. Yeah. It's right there. I sure am. It's my, ne it's my nephew. Hello. I still call him baby Nick, even though he's not a baby anymore. But in my eyes, he'll always be a baby. But, um, so in this video, I am going to be drawing the One Punch Man, Saitama. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Right? Pretty awesome. Actually, I did this a long time ago. I'm just getting to it now. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this piece. Um, as always, I had uh, issues uh, right from the beginning with the face and everything like that. But um, by the end of it, um, it ended up being okay, I think. And my entire family's here. Hey, Jude. That's my little boy. Jude. Say hi. Hi. No, you're supposed to say hi. That's it. Not say hi. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, go away. <laughs> that way. That way. So, uh, baby Nick, are you a fan of the One Punch Man? Sure am. Right? I told you. Who's, not, who's not a fan? I know, you'd be an idiot. Anyway, I don't know if that's a ring endorsement or what. <laughs> but it's on Netflix, so if you, if you don't know about it, Go check it out. It's pretty awesome. Um, I've just been addicted to it. I still haven't seen the uh, made-for-video. What do you call that? Like OAV? Oh, um, OVA? OVAs, yeah. OVAs? I still haven't seen those. I, I can't seem to find a, a clean copy of that. No, they're all bootlegged and terrible. Yeah. No, I want to see like the best quality, like the highest res stuff. That's me. That's my thing. I don't I do not do the, uh, the low res um, bootleg crap because, um, you know, you gotta respect these, uh, respect the time that these guys put into it. I would support it if I could, right? Like, if, if they sold it, I would buy it. But okay, let's get started on this thing. Um, is it going already? Let me see. Alright, here we are, we're drawing. And I've sped this up, obviously. So I'm just gonna be commentating over this. Um, so Nick, yep. how long are you staying for? Uh, staying for a week. One week, my goodness. Well, that's a, come on. It's a, I call it, I dub this Operation Basement Boy, Basement Dweller. That's what you're going to be for <sighs> one whole week. Well, yeah, I just spent like two weeks doing the absolute opposite of that, living outside, so. Yeah, yeah, so everything is uh, it's like a cherry you on top right now. You need to have balance in life. Yes, you do. And so right now I'm just going through the various poses, the lines and stuff like that. Um, trying to come up with an appropriate pose for this thing. And I had a hard time because, um, I, you know, looking back at it now, uh, I think I had the wrong idea. I, I couldn't, I, when I went into drawing this, I, I didn't have the mentality of, um, of uh, I didn't capture the essence of One Punch Man the way I wanted to. I didn't even come close. But I'm gonna do this video now because I spent time on this, I spent hours on this, so I don't want it to go to waste. And I just want to, I just want to show you guys that you can fail as well, and uh, don't be ashamed of it, because um, you know, you just keep going, you just practice and practice until you uh, fail a little less every time. Where's the little guy, my friend? What? You didn't think I was doing this, right? Doing what? This YouTube thing. Oh no, I didn't. No, dude, I'm filming this legit, man. Sorry, I'm just gonna be in the background doing random things. Just look at the drawing. Look, I'm doing the research right now. This face Google is not images. Up, right? What? Google image research. Yeah, man, you gotta do research, High right? Speed. Um, uh, I'll break that open later. I bought I bought a bunch of new toys. I actually wanted to show you guys a case that I got. I'll be right back. Nick, keep him company. <laughs> what? What? I just want to play PSVR. Come on. Been setting it up for like 20 minutes. So you signed a disclaimer, right? That I can put this on the internet? You did anyway, I tricked you. That autograph, that the signature that I got you to sign earlier? That's what this is for, so. That's, uh, that's not you gotta, how it works. You gotta read the small print though. Small print? Yeah. That's how it is, right? Uh, yeah, that's definitely not how it works. Yeah, it is. Because I okay. didn't sign anything before. Yeah, you did. You I signed was, it. I didn't sign anything. You did. I didn't sign anything. Yeah, yeah, you did. 
Okay, so right now I'm just going in and the face is totally not working out. This looks nothing like him. But by the end of it, I got something that looked decent. I think I just ended up quitting. But um, I got to a point where I was kind of happy. Um, which is good enough. Okay, so what I want to show you guys is I got this new um, this new case on Amazon for my Mobile Studio Pro. The 13 inch one. Because a lot of people always ask, do you have the 16 inch or the 13 inch? And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't make that clear last time, so now I'm making it clear. It's the 13 inch one, and um, it's just a 14 inch bag. And the risk with buying these online is you, you never know if it's going to really fit because, I mean, it could be off by a couple millimeters in it. And, but I can, I can tell you that this fits perfectly. Um, can't remember the name. Let me try to find it. Have it here somewhere. Just in case you guys were looking for the perfect um, carrying case, because it's uh, Wacom doesn't um, supply enough of them. I found it really hard, especially living in Canada. I find it very hard to find um, the the case that that is made by Wacom, and it's very expensive. It's like fifty dollars or something like that, and I'm I'm not ready to pay that. Um, okay, here it is. Eighteen ninety nine. 1899 and it's called Nidu N I D O O definitely a Chinese company because I don't know who else would call their okay, product a Nidu Chinese quality we stop <laughs> it's racist um, <laughs> all right it's still in stock still 1899 and it's um check it out Nidu sold fulfilled by Amazon yeah blah 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 and um, the reason why is because this will fit the Mobile Studio Pro 13 uh, uh, 14 inch perfectly with zero room at all. It's really snug. There's just a just there's just a little bit of room um, horizontal vertically, vertically horizontally. I don't know um, about a centimeter. It's actually perfect. And the inner lining is that fuzzy, whatever you call it. Um, what do you call, what do you call this fuzzy material? What? Fur? I don't know. Yeah, he calls it fur. It's not fur. It's not. It's not fur because that'd be very expensive. Well, it's fake fur. It's like it's like the thing you'd make like a blanket out of. That's it. Okay, good enough. Blanket material. You pass. <laughs> good enough. Yeah, it's um similar to the one uh, that Wacom used to sell, the neoprene bag. That's what that's similar to. But I love it. I think it's awesome. I have another case that I bought from IKEA which was super cheap too, and this fits right in there. I find that that case was really, that, that bag was really nice, but it didn't provide a lot of protection. This one here has a lot of cushion. It comes with a zipper, goes like that. I'll be sure to add it to the link in the video. Um, so check that out, and it looks good. And I think my pen is on. Yeah. And this will actually fit in the Ikea case that I bought um, earlier on in the year. So I wanted to, Bring that out and show you guys. If you guys uh, were looking for a, a case, but it was a bit apprehensive because you you never know if it's gonna fit your. Um... I'm moving along pretty quickly here. Um, yeah, what was I saying? If you're looking for a case for the 14 inch Mobile Studio Pro, um, this is a safe bet. Check it out. Nidu owes me some money. If I sell <laughs> this, right. send me some money, Nidu. Give you a tree fitty. Nidu's a dude in his basement, like Robert Nidu. He's, <laughs> he's sewing, he's sewing bags in his basement. He's like, I'm not gonna give you money. He's <laughs> like, oh, I can't keep with the man. <laughs> That's right. His name wouldn't be Robert. He's he's prob probably from China, right? So maybe it'd be like Peng Ling Nidu Peng Ling? or something it's, like that. <laughs> what's the name again? Nidu. Nidu. Yeah. Nidu. Yeah, Nidu. I'm gonna forget I put it there. All right, so. We're all zoomed in on the crotch here, just drawing the feet. And um, I've said it many times before in my other uh, videos. Um, I'll just go in and I'll, I'll clean it up. Uh, I, I fixed the eyes and everything like that. I made it less serious. Um, trying to keep the essence of uh, the One Punch Man, but like the serious version of him. Because he has a super uh, derpy version and he has a more serious, uh, I guess when he's, uh, when he's faced with a challenge that's formidable, he gets a bit more serious, and uh, that's that's the version I've kind of gone with. 
trying again various different poses on the right hand is the color palette that I'm going to use um, yeah I did this so long ago I could barely remember it <laughs> I made this duck mouth it's pretty uh, I thought that was pretty funny so I actually ended up keeping that for the final duck mouth yeah I'm going to put it down on the on the bottom too. I'm going to put like a little graphic that I'm going to design. Um, I got a, a lot of you guys have been asking about Instagram and I finally made one for my uh, my art account. So just follow me there. It's under the same name, Monster Repository. Check it out. I'd appreciate it if you guys went there and gave it a thumbs up or a like. Just follow me. I'm more active on that than I am on YouTube. Uh, I hope to change that soon. But let's, you know, the YouTube stuff, of course, takes longer to do. Didn't I tell you to do that like a long time ago? Do what? Make an Instagram for your, specifically your art. Maybe, or like yeah. a, like a, what is it, DeviantArt or something? DeviantArt, yeah. I still don't have that. Working on that as well. Get out there on those different social media platforms. I know, man. Get out there and expose people. I'm trying. Because especially with this, um, like with these art educational things, I, I find it really helpful, especially for people starting out in this business, um, to kind of, uh, Give them a bit of a push, you know, maybe like a bit of inspiration and, and process as to how I do things. Uh, things um, maybe to avoid some pitfalls and, and whatnot. Um, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on the comments and um, I'll try my best to answer them. This is cool. I wish I drew this fast. <laughs> if you could draw that fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be yeah. poor if I drew this fast. <laughs> you would not. You would not. I'm like experimenting right now with the different effects and stuff like that I could do. I think I'm almost done. The video is probably almost done. Yeah, I'm right at the end. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks. Whoa. So baby Nick is excited. He gets to play uh, PSVR. Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't bring Dead or Alive, so. No, I forgot. Was, I was disappointed. No. Dead or Alive. It's okay. Extreme. It's okay, I'll play, I'll play. Where does it get extreme? I don't get it. In your pants, Are probably. you serious? The is whole it? game is extreme. Is it? No, okay. Yeah, you've never, you've, you've, you've watched me play it. Yeah, see, I've seen you. I've Sat seen down you and enjoyed All it. Alright, hey look, it's done. Video's done. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you um, like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you don't like it, just don't give it a thumbs anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't give it a thumbs down or do whatever you want. I don't care. But anyway. This is uh, Noi. That's baby Nick. Oh, right. Looking all sexual lying down like that. French girls. <laughs> and that's my baby boy oh. in the background. Oh. Alright guys. <laughs> um, next video. What should I do? You making another video with back to back? Uh, yeah. No, not right now. I'm not going to record. I'm going to do like another drawing tutorial. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about characters right now. Oh, really? You want to mm. go for Persona? You can draw my favorite character from Persona. What's that? Uh, how, you, you probably don't know who it is. It's uh, Makoto. Makoto? Makoto, yeah. I, ha I still haven't played Persona. Um, I bought it a long time ago. And I'm a huge fan of the artist and the artwork and the, everything about it. I played Persona uh, 4 for the Vita. I put in like 80 hours or something like that into it. I loved it so much. And I still have not played Persona 5. It's embarrassing, but um, I'm going to get to it. I have to. I'm. I'm still trying to. Pull. What are you doing? I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get through my backlog. Um, I'm going through Nier right now, and uh, I'm not too far into it, but I'm enjoying the crap out of that. It's such an amazing game. But um, yeah, I might do a Makoto next or whatever, right? Makoto. Makoto. Google it. Okay, I'll Google it. Um, all right, cool. Or maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. I'm not gonna let him tell me what to do. But anyway, thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for all the likes and everything like that. It um it helps make it helps me do these videos. It makes it a lot easier. So appreciate it. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you guys.